What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Gym Leader Geo, and this is serendipitously episode 44 of our blind Pokemon Sun and Moon Let's Play. We're about to take on the Elite Four, and uh, I'm really excited. And um, I'm gonna go over my team real quick, and then we'll uh, we'll hop into it. So let me. Um, I'll actually cut this. Let's let's cut this. Uh, no. That's what they want us to do. They want me to read from left to right. I shan't. And I shan't lead from, read from right to left either, because this game was made by, uh, by Japanese producers and developers. So I'm gonna go to the third one first. Aha! Akarola. Right? Didn't I already... I did her trial, but I didn't battle her, right? Bring you the old Royal Torch to the Pokemon League. It's a cool little thing. How much did this cost? Who's funding this? There's no fans? Is this televised? Gotta look good for the camera. Come on, Geo. Adjust those shades, bro. Uh, this is Ghosts. We got Spooky Ghosts. So, uh, let's lead with Incineroar. Spooky Ghost. Nanu said maybe he can't refuse a Tapu choosing him to serve as a Kuhuna, but he'd be darned if he had to serve as one of the Elite Four just because some guy asked him. So I guess I'll have to battle hard enough to make up for his not being here. Well, I already battled him, so... And I haven't battled you, so you're probably stronger than he is. Look at that twirl. Sweet twirl, Akarola. You're alright, girl. She's got that creepy... Even her mouth looks ghost-like. Alright, so we got five. Sableye. Uh, leading... It'll be neutral no matter what I hit him with. Um, let's... Start off with a Fire Fang. Chance to burn him. I don't imagine I'll be able to... Oh, he's gonna fake out anyway. That's right. I don't imagine I'll be able to... Two hit KO him with anything. Maybe Flare Blitz would've, but... I'd rather keep it safe early. I'll resist the Shadow Claw. He doesn't have very good attack. The chance to burn for the extra damage could be nice. Oh, I will two hit KO him with that. So maybe I would've O-Code him with Flare Blitz, but... Better safe than sorry. Oof. Confuse Ray, though. That's not good. Yeah, hurt myself in confusion. Great. Let's try this again. I just don't like confusion. Like, Ghost is actually a fun type, but I hate that... Oh, my God. Come on. There's just... There's no skill to this. There's no strategy to this. There's no playing around anything. You're literally just hoping that I hit myself in confusion, and then I, I did twice, so... Good job, Sableye. I, I, God, I hate confused strats. I actually don't like that. I don't... Ooh, that was loud. I also don't like uh, Para. Palosand. Oh, yeah, I never... So this is going to be the evolved form of that little sand... Sandgeist? I don't remember what his name is. Uh, he's ground and spooky ghost. So... Um... I don't have anything that resists both of those things. Uh, but Decidueye... Decidueye's dual stab are super effective against this... this uh, assuming he's ground ghost. Pretty sure he is. His evolved form is very cool looking. A sand castle. I really like that. Uh, is Leaf Blade stronger? 90 versus 80, I think? Yeah, Leaf Blade's stronger. And a crit chance boost. So let's hit him with that Leaf Blade. Very strong. Crit hit. And he's going to use Iron D on me. So if I did how much I did with Iron D, I'm going to be doing... Like... Less than... Like a third? Ugh. Oh no. I gotta hope I get another crit here, because she just full restored. Ugh. 
Decidueye once again about to fail to... Oh no, ghost type Z move. Go down. Stay down, Decidueye. Never ending nightmare. That's terrifying. Decidueye will not survive this. Yeah. Decidueye, you weak, man. Um, follow up with... Let's bring Bugnitude in. I will resist the ground. Uh, I don't have anything in particularly special against... Is that, what is bug? Is bug resisted by ghost? Is there some weird connection like that? I don't remember. Yeah, it is. I forgot. I forgot about that one. Oh well. So he's got shadow ball. Again, it would have made sense for pre marina to come in. Ugh, are you really full restoring on me right now? Again, two of them. Like I could have just sent in pre marina. I might have to. Honestly, Palisand kind of beasting right now. Uh, am I faster? I don't remember. I'm going to hit Roost. Yeah, I am faster. Let's go for another Shadow Ball. Oof, he got the special D drop. Well, I'm not going to stay in here to just die. Let's send in a little P. Especially defensive, especially offensive. Should be able to take advantage of this. I didn't want to have to... I mean, a little P is just going to make quick work. So, I, I didn't want to have to do this, but... I shall. Delmise. Is this the ghost grass? Right? This is the um the anchor. Uh Incineroar will double resist him. I don't know that he has enough HP to really take him down, but let's give her a go, Joe. Grass spook ghost, right? Uh, Flare Blitz is my strongest move, and with how much HP I have remaining, hoping I'm faster, that's my best shot at a one-hit KO. But if I'm not faster, I'll pro and I do live, I'd rather go for Darkest Lariat. I am faster. Again, I should I should have trusted my instincts. I would have killed him. Gets a crit. I don't know whether or not I would have survived it or not. Oh boy. Um, bro, let's get you in here. Look slow. <laughs> like. Oh, I actually outspeed him. Delmi's is really slow. I think she's got one more. Frostlass. Alright. Yeah. Take it to the fridge, McBro. Resisted. Immune. Crab Hammer's my only option. Ah, uh, here we go. Playing the confused tricks again, huh? Alright. Got through that time. One more will do the job. I'm not defensive. Oh, I snapped out of confusion. And I didn't miss the crab hammer. And Acarola goes down. See, I could have just used a little P from the get-go. I probably would have been okay. Unless I... Yeah, oh, wait. She has one more. <laughs> Ups. Um, let's keep battling. Drift Blim is weak to ice. So, uh, a stab... Ice Punch from my Monstrous Attack stat should muerte this guy. He's going to go for the Focus Energy. That shan't do the job. But if he has Aftermath, then I'll kill myself here. 
And he does. Down goes McBro. Oh no! It's only a quarter of my HP? I thought it was like innards out, which is the HP you had before. Countered 22k. Mmm. Love it. That's Elite Four number one down. Acarola down. Finito. Phew. Well, there goes my hope of beating you to smithereens and becoming the champion myself. Yeah. There it does go. There goes it. This is a little teleport pad. Very cool. Got a little light there. Light at the end of the tunnel. Let's talk to Kukui. I expect you to show me some intense moves and real heart-stopping battles in there. Good luck, Geo. Pre-Marina. Yeah. So, pretty much the same. Uh, I should probably heal up some of these mon, huh? Alright, so I healed some people up. Um, but, I am actually kind of in a little bit of a, of a pickle here. Because I don't have a whole lot of healing items. I, I never really bought any throughout the entire game. They just kind of came to me. I guess at the very beginning I did buy some. What do we have here? Who dis? Who you? Oh yeah, I remember you. I don't remember your name. Olivia? Yeah, she was rock... I, I fought her already. Didn't I? Did I fight Akarola already too? I don't think I fought Akarola. I fought Mimikyu. And then she was like, oh, good job, Geo. Uh, but this girl is all about the rocks, right? So let's do this. Uh, move this held item. If I were smart, I'd be giving these guys battle items. Maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll do that right now, actually. Because this is turning out to be a little bit more difficult than I had anticipated. So let's do that. Alright, I did some things. I think we're ready now. I, uh, I gave items to everybody. I got two Z powers on there. Um, a couple of setup moves. Got rid of my false swipe. Uh, I don't need it right now. I'll, I can put it back on later. No introduction needed here. Time to battle me, Olivia. That's right, Olivia. I do remember you. I did get the name right also. Ooh, that look. That glare. Let's get into this. Battle number two. With Elite Four Olivia. Hey, last time we battled her, you saw her like do the sultry walk and then the turn and look. Leading with a Relicanth. Um, so, neutral be my sparkling aria, as is my moon blast. So let's start with the moon blast. Could potentially get the special attack drop if he opts to go for a scald or something. I do get the special attack drop. He's going to go for a yawn. Um... Yeah, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna switch it out. I could also go for a sing here. This would be a really ballsy play. If I go for sing and get him to sleep, then I can fall asleep, and then we're really it's too risky to try and hit with that. Let's go into Decidueye instead. If he opts to go for an attack, I resist water type. And I have roost. She's going to pop a full restore, so good thing, uh, good thing I switched there. I'm four times super effective against Relicanth with my, with my Leaf Blade. Uh, but I'm actually going to take advantage of this. Uh, Relicanth is kind of a, kind of a defensive Pokemon and a little bit weak, so I can pop a Swords Dance here. Scout his move pool, hope he doesn't go for a Yawn. Does go for a Yawn. I think I'm going to Swords Dance again and I'm going to go for the win right here. I'm going to Swords Dance. I have an Awakening. I have Roost on me. Yep, going to go for Ancient Power. That shouldn't do too much. As it doesn't, I get put to sleep here. I can pop an Awakening now. As he goes for an Ancient Power. As long as he doesn't get the speed boost here. Uh, yeah, I should outspeed. And kill him with a plus four Leaf Blade. Before he gets a chance to yawn me to sleep again. Uh, 
rock type Pokemon that might be an issue to me. Um, uh, Lycan rock, no, because I resist the fighting. Yeah, actually, I think I'm okay here. Let's keep battling. Lycan rock is pretty powerful, uh, and he's yeah, he's in the midnight midnight form. Let's Leaf Blade. I do outspeed, and at plus four, there's no way this guy lives. So, Lycan Rock down. Yep. That's why you don't lead with passive Pokemon, my friends. Carbink, uh, yeah, that's fine. I actually could take an opportunity to set up on this Carbink. Uh, not set up as in attack it more, but get some health back. But I, I think I'm okay with my health pool the way it's at. So guys, it looks like all the Sidui needed was a little bit of a uh, little bit of a turnaround. Just had to restat him a little bit. Probopass, Rock Steel. Uh, let's keep battling anyway. I'm not sure what Probopass can do differently to me than anyone else. Uh, Leaf Blade and Spirit Shackle are both neutral, but I'm going to stick with Leaf Blade anyway. Oh my goodness, and he gets a T-Wave off. Ah, That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. Uh, he'll probably outspeed me now, but there's a chance that he won't. I'm going to go for a Roost here anyway. I think he will outspeed me. Oh, she's going to go for a Full Restore. Okay, I'm okay with this. Ah, fully parried. Shoot. Alright, well, we got we to gotta weaken him again. Um, it's going to take two hits to kill him anyway, unless it crits. So Leaf Blade, still the better option. Pops up a Sandstorm. She might double full restore here, so I'm going to try another roost. I actually outspeed even with... Did that not... Did I not see that the turn? I did see that the turn before. I just wasn't paying attention. Power gem. Special rock type move. I could just roost stall out the... No, I'm going to spirit shackle here. It'll take him out. Decidueye is making work of this team, though. The para is unfortunate. I mean, that's pretty much all Probo Pass does in... Um... Ooh, Incineroar wants to learn Outrage. That's an interesting move. Yeah, why not? Uh, Fire Fang's weak, isn't it? 65 accurate or power. I like that it doesn't have the recoil that Flare Blitz has, but... You know what? Let's drop Thrash. Thrash is no Thrash is 120 power also. Let's drop Fire Fang. The coverage is meh, but you never know. Let's see what we got. Uh Golem. Okay. Uh, I resist electric. Rock could be somewhat of a problem. Uh, let's switch. Who can handle rock types and electric types? Biggie Mac can do both of those things. Yeah, Biggie Mac can. Uh, Biggie Mac needs a fighting stab, though. Even though I resist both of these things, I would like a I would like a fighting stab. I'm neutrally effective at everything here. I don't know how many hits it's going to take to take this thing out, so I'm going to pop and. Um, I really don't know if I should go Swords Dance, Double Dragon Claw, or Iron Defense, Swords Dance, Double Dragon Claw. Iron, Swords Dance, Dragon Claw, Dragon Claw. Four turns of half damage, yeah. Iron Defense first. He's got Thunder Punch at best for me, which I resist, and with my massive defense, it's going nowhere. So I'm happy with that. Now I can Swords Dance. The reason I'm not clanging scales, even though um, 
Golem has way less special Ds. I don't want to drop my defenses. Ah, uh, that's a crit. Shoot. Sandstorm's down, luckily. Uh, and now we're going to go for a Dragon Claw. Yeah, even with the Swords Dance, it doesn't do much. Uh, it might even be worth Swords Dancing again. But let's pop a Z Power first. We haven't done that yet. Devastating Drake. I have two different options. This one's special. And that one's physical. Lower power physical. However, my attack stat has been boosted times two. So probably Devastating Drake physical. Kamehameha is the uh, dance move for Dragonium. Like devastating Drake. Have I seen this? I don't know. Maybe I have, but I don't remember it, or I haven't. Ah, oh, I don't think I have. That's really cool. It's not enough to take him out, but that's okay. He goes for another Thunder Punch. He gets the para, which is shucksy, but... I'm not going to Clanging Scales in case she drops a full restore on him just when he's at this. It doesn't look like he's going to. Just going to keep Thunder Punching for days. I get full Parad. What is it with Paralysis in these, this Rock-type gym? My goodness. And then Golem goes down. Decidra wants to learn Nasty Plot. That's cool. So uh, I'm going to keep my old moves because I, I don't really have a special set for him right now. But that was a fun battle. No deaths that time. Just a couple of weaknesses. Uh, I'm going to quickly recover some of these status conditions. Okay. Now the pad's going to light up. I don't see the same look in your eyes that I saw when we first met on Akala. Have you had some experiences that you'll carry with you in your heart forever? Well, it's time for you to move on. Olivia, you are very perceptive. Uh, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon. All right. I've got nine heals and uh, something like six revives. So, barring some unfortunate turn of events, I should be okay. I gotta keep playing this smart. We're gonna go left this... No, we're gonna go right. We're gonna go right this time instead. Looks green. Is this grass? Looks greeny, grassy. Who are you? So here you are. Why don't we see who the winds favor today? You or me? Do I... Have I met this girl before? Was she at some point earlier? So, wings, like flying type? Talking about the winds. I, I swear, I don't remember her face. Maybe she was in an earlier... An earlier ep? I don't know. If it's a flying type... I'm actually kind of weak to flying. Uh, Lil P is a decent lead... Uh, just because. So, we're going to leave with that. Kahili. A few years ago, I was champion of the Island Challenge. Oh, sorry guys. That's my cellular telephone device. I put it on mute. I'm going to throw it on the bed if it makes too much noise again. A few years ago, I was a champion of the Island Challenge too, just like you. I've been traveling the world to improve my skill as both a trainer and a golfer. They talked about a golfer at the... Where was it? Was it the Hana Island Resort? They talked about golfing. I think that was it. I think that was it. So, yeah. Trainer and a golfer. When I heard they'd made a Pokemon League in my home region, I came flying back to serve Alola. Have a look at my fantastic flying type team. See, there's two ways to look at Vikavolt. Vikavolt, it's great that he's uh, electric typing to counter the weakness that Bug has to flying. However, 
as an electric type Pokemon, the fact that flying hits me neutral is is problematic. Ooh, Skarmory. Well, Steel is neutral on me. I'm actually gonna sing Skarmory to sleep. Oh god, that hit so hard. I missed that. I'm gonna do it again. How is he outspeeding me? I miss a second time. I could have taken him out by now. I cannot believe he's faster than me. That's so ridiculous. The reason I'm putting him to sleep is I'm once again going to set up for the win here. Um, not with Decidueye. Oh, Biggie Max weak to him also. Shoot, I made a goof this time. <sighs> Man, I really goofed. Um, let's get Bugmitude in here. He levitates above the spikes. Ah, oh, God, that was so stupid of me. Fucking dude's not at full health and is very, very, very slow. Oh, but I have Roost, so I'm gonna do that first turn. He actually wakes up. But is not hitting me very hard, luckily, because Vikavolt has a lot of defenses. So let's shore up Bugnitude here. I'm gonna Roost one more time. Slash appears to be the best he's got for me. I might be able to, if I'm lucky, I might be able to milk a couple of the full restores from this Skarmory. If I can bring him down to pretty much dead with a Thunderbolt, it's his weaker defensive side. Yep, bring him all the way down to Sturdy. She will now pop a full restore. Um, and I can roost again. Wow, didn't pop a full restore. That's not what I was anticipating. So let's do it now. I really thought... Oh, God, on the crit? I had to do it on the crit. I basically wasted pre-marina there. Which is kind of sad. Mandibuzz, dark flying. Um, I'll keep I'll keep battling here. I'm not sure what he has for me. Let's do a thunderbolt first turn. Flatter. Does that lower my attack stat? No, it increases my special attack and makes me confused. Uh, I don't like that I'm confused, but I love the special attack boost. That's incredible for me. Two cannon. Oh. Two cannon has such amazing coverage and is very fast. I'm positive he's got something for me. Shoot. Um, I don't want to lose Bugnitude. I'm confused. I know he'll outspeed. Uh, but I'm in a really good position right now. I I'm going to risk it. I'm going to keep battling. I don't think the right move is to go for a roost because until I'm snapped out of confusion, it's just too, too much random. He's going to go for the screech. I need to break through here. Otherwise, there's a really good chance he okos me if he hits me next turn. Get myself in confusion, of course. Gotta go for it here. Z move. I go down. Ugh. I hate confusion. I just, I, man, I hate it so much. There's so many RNG elements of the game, I just, like, I can't, whatever. Uh, let's keep moving, let's go. Uh, 
Uh, McBro. No, let's look at summary. I want to bring in someone with decent defense that's not weak to... It's 132 defense, he's weak. 112, 112. Looks like Incineroar is my best bet. But uh, I'm not confident that he will Oko. So let's go McBro instead. Oh shoot, he's part fighting. Ugh. Alright, well I might have just immediately sacked this Pokemon. Good, he's heating up his beak, so I'll just take him out in one hit right now. Um, how did I burn? Oh, yeah. If you hit him while his beak is doing that thing. I forgot about that move. It was a fun move. Uh, now I'm just going to send in a Crobat. Poison flying. Poison... Uh, is pretty good against everyone here. Let's just go Incineroar. Incineroar can take on a Crobat. My hardest hitting move is Flare Blitz. Um, however, I don't want to take the recoil until I know how much it's going to do to a Crobat. So let's go with the Darkest Lariat, which is a safe primary move. Jesus, he's going for those strats too. Hey, get the crit, get the takedown. Or Corio, last Pokemon. We don't know the form yet. But if it's Ghost, I resist it. If it's, uh, if it's Psychic, I resist it. If it's fire, I resist it. The only one I don't resist is electric. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be electric. Because um, looking at the coverage of the typing that he's had, I'm going to stay in, though. Nah, he's going to go with fire. Okay, so I, I resist the fire, the secondary stab there. And I can go darkest lariat or outrage. Is Thrash... No, that's uh, Uproar that prevents me from going to sleep. He can Tweeter Dance, which is my biggest concern here. But let's stick with Darkest Lariat. Feather Dance. Lowers my speed? No, my attack. Oof. Does this ignore that, though? Looks like it doesn't. But at that HP, a Flare Blitz should finish it off. It's going to go for an Air Slash. I can probably take that. Yeah, it looks okay. Oh, of course. He got a flinch. <laughs> got a flinch. I'm going to go for another one. I'll probably take myself out with this move now. Thanks to that flinch. But Interesting. So... Uh, yeah, so I guess Darkest Lariat does ignore... Oh, no, it's not very effective. That was a dumb play on my part. But either way, the, the Flare Blitz and the Darkest Lariat, neither would have killed. Uh, I'll die to another Air Slash, he, but he could miss an Air Slash, so... He's actually going to stay in. So I'll get one Darkest Lariat off. Uh, I'll just let him take me out with the Air Slash, then I'll go into Pre-Marina. No, I shouldn't do that. Pre-Marina will probably die. 68? Do I think he can do 68? Uh, I might actually... <laughs> the only Pokemon left are a weakened Lil P, and then a ton of Pokemon that are weak to... Oh god, with the spikes. I'm going to use a max potion on Lil P here. I have pretty high special defense. I should be able to take an air slash or four. Uh, of course it crit. And now we just literally need to hope he just doesn't. He's going to lower my attack. Luckily it doesn't matter. 
uh, I'll be able to take him out with a sparkling Aria here. And that will be the end of this battle. Man. Another weirdly annoying battle thanks to flinches and... A couple of really weird... Th I mean, it, the Sing was a, a mistake. It's so inaccurate, I thought it would give me the opportunity to get a bit of a setup, but I didn't... I didn't put two and two together and, and consider that my Pokemon are actually all weak to flying. So that was a very difficult one. My team is pretty much 50% weak to flying types. I was honestly annoyed when Kukui kept pestering me to come here, but I'm glad I did. Good for you. Good for you. We're going to go back here. We got to look at who I can who I can heal up again after this. Okay, let's see. Okay, so we're all done healing up now. We've got one more route to go. I didn't fully heal everybody. Uh, I'm kind of low on healing items. And so if I wanted to use some in a battle, it would be useful to save up a few. Who we got here? Kahuna Hala! Old Hala's here to make you holla. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I'm so glad I left this one to last. I'm so happy about that. Oh, holla. The old Kahuna is now a member of the Elite Four. Well, this time I'm holding nothing back. Oh, time for you to see what I can really do. I forgot to use his voice. I'll identify your stuff. Stomp, stomp. Get him, old holla. Get him! Let's get it! He's got five Pokemon. Can lead with Hariyama. Um, if he's fighting type, Primarina will do pretty well here. Except that I'm not at full health. Hit him with the Moon Blast. She's going to fake me out. Hmm. Oof, he lives. Get the special attack drop. <laughs> Lil P loves me so much that I dodged a 100% accuracy move, which is cool. Uh, I should be able to finish him off with a non-moon blast, but I'm going to do it anyway just in case he goes for a full restore, like he does. With a high roll, I could take him out. High roll? <laughs> Legend of Zelda jokes. I am so excited. Is anyone else excited for Breath of Wild? That's it. I knew you could do it. I hope this isn't a thing that's going to keep happening. Finish him off with an ice beam. See if he's thick, fat enough to survive it. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Large Mac grew to 50. McBro, 57. Crabominable. I will resist both your stabs, and so I will stay in. This is Lil P's moment. Carbominable does have a pretty good move pool. I will say that. I'm actually going to heal myself here. Uh, I know I think I only have like a couple more max potions, but Lil P should be able to handle this whole match. And uh, I'm going to I'm going to let him try it. I'm going to go for Ice Hammer. Wow. You know what? I shouldn't be healing up on the face of a Carbominable. It's so powerful. But Crabominable shouldn't be able to take a stab moon blast. Yeah, I didn't think so. He's kind of weak. That's it. I knew you could do it. Please stop it. Please stop doing that. <laughs> I, I I fed him a bean. I was like, oh, let's, let's do this. I was trying to heal up all of their um, status effects without using status effect healers. And I fed him a bean. And now I'm just getting... I'm cheering on my Pokemon and I don't like it. I don't need to tell them what to do. They know they know what's going on. They know what's up. Primate got the cross chop. And I dodge it again. So <laughs> this bean is playing off in like in spades right now. 
Oh, that's crazy. That is honestly, that's crazy. I've dodged two. Is cross chop 100% accurate? Ooh, beware. Yeah, I keep battling. Why stop when we're ahead, right guys? <laughs> I recall beware being ridiculously bulky. Well, not that bulky, Lil P. Oh my goodness, you are the anti hala That's crazy. Polyrath. Yep, I actually resist both of your stabs also. Water Fairy is just too good. But Polyrath lives. I get the special attack drop. He's going to go for a Waterfall, which I resist. So it's pretty hard. I am impressed. I'm going to pop a full restore, but two Moon Blasts will do the trick. And again, a high roll will also do the trick here. There you go. What I called it, guys. I had to. I had to say. It. High roll for the victory. Lil P puts foot to face, and they don't like it. So that's elite four down. Uh, now we get to see who the champion is. It is only when the balance of the old and the new is just... Uh, uh, it is only when the balance of the old and the right is new that blah 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 and you can create something truly original. That is what I saw in the battle between us. An elder's experience and the fire of youth. And the identification of stuff. Thanks, Deckard Holla. Holla Kane. Holla Kane, guys? I don't know. Uh, Alright, so we're about to fight a champion. I wonder if it's Lusamine. I wonder if Lusamine is the champion. Uh, let's heal up one more time. Do I have just like a little... Carbominable needs some HP. But Berry Juice is so good for a little cup. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it to you anyway. What about citrus? Do I have any citrus berries? My bro's gotta love orange berries. You, you fucking live in them. That's where I caught you. All right, we're healed up. We're ready to go. We're about to find out who the champion is. I could have been like, on the next episode, but I'm not going to do that. I want this game to be inished. I need this to be it. This needs to be the final countdown. What are you? Am I the champion? For I have sat the throne. Kukui? Oh yeah, now you're the Pokemon League champion. Wait, really? That's it? <laughs> Wouldn't it be nice if it was that simple? The truth is, there's one more person you have to battle if you want that title. Me. Woo. One final hurrah for your island challenge. And the special tribute is you and this Pokemon League embark on a new path. Let's have a battle worthy of this moment. Step out your throne, Geo. Get tossed around. We're about to fight a rock rough. I hope it's still a rock rough and not a lichen rock. Six Pokemon. All right. We going for it, boys. So he's got Lycan Rock. I should be able to outspeed this unless it's like out leveling me. Or if it's like really well EV'd. Doesn't look like it is. We're close though. Uh, we'll hit it with a Sparkling Aria. Uh, he is going to outspeed. Hits the Stone Edge. That is power. That is such power. 
Didn't dodge that one. <laughs> Dodged a couple of uh, resisted fighting type attacks, but... Ah, man. Mike and Rock is power. Truly is. Magnazone. Can't stay in here. Um, Biggie Mac will resist steel. Does fighting resist steel? It's super effective against it. I don't think it resists it, though. What, what do I have that resists steel? Electric? Um, do you also resist? Yeah, electric will resist both fighting and steel. What can I hit him back with, though? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. But he can't paralyze me. I don't have fighting stab on Biggie Mac. Uh, Decidueye. You know, Incineroar will just outspeed him. Uh, he probably has Sturdy. I'm giving this a lot of thought, guys. I'm sorry, but... Um, let's bring Biggie Mac in... No, I can't set up against this guy. It's too dangerous. What can I do? What can I do? Uh, we're gonna go Incineroar. We're gonna go Incineroar. No, I'm not. I need to say it. He's got very special typing. Bugnitude can roost off his damage. He's pretty defensive, relatively so. I have roost. Uh, it's just gonna be about whittling this thing down. I'm gonna resist its, uh, its dual stab. We'll see if it's got anything extra for me. Flash Cannon could get a could get a stat drop, I believe. Uh, could Bug Buzz? Yeah, uh, we're gonna go with Bug Buzz since they're all, I believe they're all the same damage. Maybe at Thunderbolt's 95. Nope. Uh, Flash Cannon's even weaker. So, Bug Buzz and Thunderbolt are both resisted. Thunderbolt is actually four times resisted. But we're going to go for special D drops here. I'm going to resist his Thunderbolt. We're both monstrous special attackers. Unfortunately, he has uh, slightly better defenses than me, it looks like. Can we get that drop? Oh, God, Mirror Coat. That's a play. That is a play, 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 play. But if he tries to do it again, I'm going to roost. You ain't winning this battle unless you have a full restore, my friend. Oh god, did I just jinx it? Where's the wood for me to knock on? Uh, I'm gonna pop one more roost. And then I think I'm gonna kind of exchange one attack to one roost. Get that bug buzz. Did he outspeed me? That's weird. Didn't I outspeed him all the other times? Uh, still no defense drop. Now he's uh, outspeeding me. I don't. Where did this come from? I was outspeeding him. I, I mean, I guess we could speed tie, but I, <laughs> I outsped him so many turns in a row that that just seems weird to me. I dodged it. Yes, Bugnitude. Yes, Bugnitude. Sweet dodge. I don't even think I'm max happiness with that guy. I guess it can happen anyway. That is full restore range if I've ever seen it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it, Kakui! I knew you were going for that full restore. I saw you reaching in your back pocket. I'm wise to your tricks. There we go. Finally get that special defense drop that we've been looking for. So now we're going to be doing 50% more damage. Uh, it's still going to take two more. 130 down to 74. Uh, it's not worth risking me getting outsped. Like so. Uh, 
Uh, I think I have to use my last roost here. And then hope he doesn't go double out speed and get three attacks to my two. Because I think he three hit KOs me. Oh, uh, no, it doesn't look like it. I am out of roosts. So Bugnitude stepped up to the plate for this Magnazone battle. Ugh, didn't quite take him out. Maybe outspeed? Maybe outspeed? Yes, outspeed. Bugnitude with the takedown on the Magnazone. Now who's boss? They're really similar Pokemon, actually. Incredibly high special attack. I guess I don't really know all of my strat, my stats here. Braviary. Um, who can? It's flying type. This is my, this is my nightmare all over again. Incineroar is the. I'm gonna keep Bugnitude in. If he opts to. There's a chance I can survive something. He's going for a Brave Bird. I don't resist it. It's neutral. It's a very high-powered attack. But there's a chance I live it. Did not, though. It's too bad. <sighs> Braviary is really powerful. I don't know. We'll get Incineroar in here. And uh, we're going to go for... Darkest Lariat to take him out. Ooh, setting up on me with the Tailwind. That's okay. He already outsped me, so that doesn't change a whole lot, and my team is so slow. Graviary is beast, my goodness. Um, we know one more Darkest Lariat will do the job. He's gonna Brave Bird. It won't kill me. I can probably take one. Actually, it would have been a two-hit KO. Or not even a two-hit KO. I can take more than one. That's good. I really want to get... What just happened? I Something happened. There was some words. I think it said... I saw it in yellow text. Um, so maybe it said something about a critical hit. Did I get a crit? I didn't need it. <laughs> Decidueye, 62. We got a Snorlax here. Yes! Just in time. Now I can get... Crabominable in here. I'm gonna broke and play some games. You got three Pokemon left. I'm gonna go for that body slam. I'm gonna go for that power up punch. And now I'm gonna inish this man's whole career. I actually think another power-up punch will do it. I don't know that I need to go for the close combat. Yeah, because I'm at plus one. I think it will. I'm going to go for the body slam. I am literally slower than a Snorlax. That is so sad. What have we got left? What have we got left? Noble Roar. No. Keep the old moves. Tailwind. That's why he outsped me. He's got Decidueye. Um, I don't think I can survive an attack. But I am super effective against it. Let's just stay in. I'm not going to survive an attack. I, I already know that. I'm... I just, I don't know. I don't know. Let's go for an Ice Punch anyway. Maybe he'll try and do something crazy. Nah, he's going to Brave Bird. That's super effective, so. Good, uh, kind of a scouting turn. I, I figured I wouldn't live anything, but it's good that I saw a coverage move there. We can assume Spirit Shackle, Brave Bird, Leaf Blade. Mm, I'm not really sure what else. I'm going to go my Decidueye against his Decidueye. We're going to Spirit Shackle. Oh, 
Oh my god, he outsped me. Oh my god, and he almost killed me. And he lived! Come on! He lived on one! Okay, do I have a single Pokemon left faster than Decidueye? 137. No, I do not. So no matter what, I'm gonna get outsped here. My only chance is to hope that that was a speed tie and that I win this one. Ooh, he's gonna go for full restore. I have a second chance. A second chance to get a higher roll here and Oko him. No, he did a Brave Bird last time. So there's not really much likelihood that I do that now. I couldn't switch anyway, even if I wanted to switch. So it's, uh... He's gonna double full restore. Giving me the opportunity to get a crit. Hmm... Still no crit. We gotta outspeed here. We do not. Man, is this. Are his mon just like perfectly EV trained or something? Biggie Mac resists grass, does not resist flying. Incineroar is kinda weak. Lil P is just out of the question. Let's try Incineroar. Uh, I think I can take a Brave Bird. And Ocom with a Darkest Lariat. I think I can take a Brave Bird. If I don't take a Brave Bird, he kills himself. There you go, Incineroar. There you go. There you go. He's got a nine tails, probably a Lolan. Let's keep battling. God, such a cool looking Pokemon. That's crazy. And we're gonna finish this off. I hope. Finish this off right. God, he's faster. Everything is faster. Story of my life. This whole game, every single Pokemon has been faster. Well, Biggie Mac is just a terrible. Here's what I do. I go into Lil P. I pop off an attack. Uh, if he kills me, then I use Biggie Mac as a max restore bait. Moonblast is my highest damage attack. He's gonna pop a safeguard, which was a huge mistake. If he was faster than me, he should have gone straight for the attack. Moonblast gives me the opportunity now to get a special attack drop on him. Do not get it, but one more will do the job. So if I can survive a 72 power Dazzling Gleam, which I do not resist, but I got it anyway. Bit of a pinch, might cry, Moonblast. <sighs> Feels good, didn't need to revive, didn't need to use... Dang, Kakui. He was just playing with me before with his rock rough. That's a lot of poke yen. <sighs> Amazing. It's like I told you before, the strongest moves you can use are the ones a trainer and their Pokemon choose together in the heat of the moment when it really counts. I don't care about your emotional spiel, Kakui. We're a champion we can all be proud of. I told you, didn't I? Up here on Mount Hokulani. Hokulani? Man, the Pokemon and the trainers in Alola really are the best. I want everyone in the world to know that too. That's always been my dream. And right here, right now, it finally came true. And that's thanks to you, Geo, and your pre-marina. Oh my god, guys. I, st I ended the battle. I ended the game the way I started it. With my starter. Lil P stepped up, soloed the Ninetales. 
first ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. It's time we record you and your beloved team's achievement for eternity. Komo'o. I don't know whether or not I feel like Komo'o was truly a part of the team, but I don't know who would have been better to take his spot at the very end there. But Lil P, he deserved that. Decidueye, he stepped up in one of those battles. Incineroar did a lot this whole this whole game. Biggie Mac, he, he took on a few. McBro, I don't know. Sometimes, and Bugnitude, he, he did a lot in this journey. He did a lot. Who would I have liked to keep around that I that I deposited? Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure who else I would have wanted to have. Uh, I don't know. I had fun. <laughs> this is honestly this is great, and uh, I finished a let's play which I've never done before, so that was fun also. There's the Elite Four. What a ragtag group. Entered the Hall of Fame. Spectac oh, spectacular. Much of the sun shines upon the moon, illuminating it. So have the friends you made during your island challenge illuminated your life. You have grown so much. You really do love your Pokemon with all your heart, don't you, Geo? Yup. That's precisely why he and his Pokemon were able to combine that strength to emerge victorious. Now we're all going to be aiming for your seat. I hope you're ready for some rivals. First ever champion of the Alola Pokemon League. Let's celebrate so grandly that even the sun and the moon themselves will take notice. Ha! Alright. Alright. Alright, Geo. Let's bust a U-turn from Mele Mele Island. We're going to have a big festival in Iki Town. Don't worry, I'll be sure to let Lily know too. Ah, game blouses, game blouses. Now you guys get to watch the post scene, uh, post game sequences with me. Hal's pumped to see me. What are the uh, elite four doing? You guys are my enemies. Get away from, you are not welcome at my champion chair. Festival. Oh, look at that. That's all the other, uh, all the other captains. Sophocles, that big old goofy smile. <laughs> That's the professor. The professor couple. I forget what Professor Kukui's wife is named. That's meme. That's my meme. Meme. Oh, that's, uh, uh, begins with P. No, it doesn't. It begins with M. Mallow? Mallow. There's Lily, still in Z form. Escorted by Hapu, because heaven forbid Lily goes anywhere by herself. She's so clingy, you know, kind of needy. But she's cool because she crossed that bridge. <laughs> Here he is, the first... Oh, here he is, the first Pokemon League champion from Alola. This calls for a celebration. We're already celebrating, Hala. Come on, man. Ruining this. Get it, Geo. How's there cheering? He's happy. Look at that. This is the exact same cheer that Howe did. How and Akarola should, uh... <laughs> Gladian hiding behind the... All right, Gladian, come on out, buddy. You go oh, get out here, you. Come on, you. There we go. You're dancing too. They're all dancing. They're all doing their Z move. Yep, they're all. Every one of them is doing their Z move dance. That's cool. Nanu in the back. <gasps> Damn kids. Get out here. Why are they all doing this? I feel like that's the only noise he can make. Oh. 
My back. I'm old. Look at that moon. That's a super moon. We're all dancing, celebrating the moon. Got a couple on the right giggling and laughing. Lily's probably going to give me a kiss right now. Ask me if she wants to go back to her place. Or, I don't know. Whatever. It's Lily. You know, you can never tell with her. She's in her Z form now. You don't know what she's up to. Congratulations on becoming champion. It's amazing, isn't it? All these people are here to help you celebrate this achievement, Geo. Everyone looks so happy. The adults, the children, even the Pokemon. It, it hasn't all been easy, but I'm really glad that I came to Alola. Getting to meet you, Geo? No. It wasn't just meeting you. It was traveling together with you. I'm so glad I got to be a part of that journey. Hey, Geo. It looks like the party's going to keep on going strong for some time still, wouldn't you say? Do you think maybe we could sneak out for a second and visit the ruins of conflict? This is like, I don't know. I don't know. Does anyone have a hometown where there's that like sneak out to the make out point? I don't know. This is like the, I don't know. Under the bleachers kind of talk. I heard from Kahuna Hala that the bridge has been fixed. What about the festival? That's what that's what uh, Virgin Geo would say. <laughs> well, I don't want to leave my friends. I think Tapu Koko must be waiting. I'm sure it's waiting for you to come to it, Geo. Now that you finished your island challenge, so she's gonna stand there waiting for me, or no? I'm I'm walking with it. When's the credit roll? Has this been a giant bait? This isn't even the game. That, like I, this is this is just the beginning. What's happening now? Mahalo Bridge, Mahalo Trail, the Plank Bridge. No. No. Now this really takes me back, back when I could barely think about anything. I was so desperate. But thinking back on it now. It was really Lunala, I mean Nebi, who brought the two of us together, wasn't it, Geo? Come on, let's go. She did it. She ran across the bridge, and everything was fine. Man, they really are doing this, huh? This episode's running a little bit long, not gonna lie. Uh, we see that there's a, uh, a crystal there. Man, what a way to... <laughs> What a way to take the wind out of my sails. I was going to end on a high note. Like, we did it. We beat the Elite Four. But, uh... <laughs> so, we're not going to... We're doing this, Lily. <laughs> you really want to play this game, Lily? I haven't had control of my character yet. This reminds me of when Hapu became the Kahuna of Pony Island. My heart is pounding in my chest. Is it because of the Sacred Guardian? Is Tapu Koko here with us? If Tapu Koko is here and is actually a, a playable Pokemon, not just kind of like a story for the game's sake, like a human dressed as a Pokemon, I'm going to catch it. It's because of your help that Cosmog lived and was able to become Lunala. Please allow me to thank you on his behalf. Thank you very, very much. It's your turn next, Geo. I want to see you show the appreciation in the way that only Alola's champion could. I know you can do this, Geo. I'll make sure your team is ready, too. Yeah. Get it. Oh, did she heal my team? She healed my team. All right, we got a battle then. <laughs> it's not over yet, guys. We can't... It can't be that easy. You can't just beat the Elite Four and be... <laughs> Voice ringing your head as if it's coming through your Z ring. Tapu Koko, it is time. Tapu Koko, go, go! You like challenge? Church! Alright, guys. No, uh, no. <laughs> can't just, can't just beat the game and, and, <laughs> and get to the post game. No, I gotta catch Tapu Koko now, huh? Electric Surge. Oh, good. I'm a water type in against an electric type. Um, You'll survive a sparkling Aria. 
I won't survive a discharge, though. Ow. I will survive a discharge. I don't have a false swiper anymore. I don't have anyone to false swipe. Oh, God. Woe is me. What's my weakest attack? Power up punch from McBro. Tapu Koko in a Pokeball. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. In a Pokeball, guys. What is up? What is up, Tapu? Ooh. There's four Tapus. Get registered. What a great way to end this. Electric Fairy. That's amazing. It confuses its enemies by flying too quickly for the eyes to follow. It has a hair trigger temper, but forgets what made it angry an instant later. Ah, uh, no nickname. Not for now. Send it to a box. Oh my god. Electric Fairy is amazing. I love that typing. What is this? Shining? A Z crystal clattered at the floor of your feet. Tapunium. Tapu O oh, for the Tapu is Tapu Neum. Tapu Coco. I know it will aspire to even greater heights at your side from now on, Geo. So glad we could come here. It had been waiting on my heart. Come on, Gia, we should get back to the village. If you don't return soon, everyone will realize we've slipped away from the festival. Yeah, on our special day, I went out and grabbed a Tapu Coco. While everyone was dancing. And having four-way Pokemon battles? I don't know. Don't think they even noticed it. Oh, Battle Royales are about to begin. Aha! The mysterious masked... <laughs> and tiny little meowth, he's tiny little meowth. <laughs> Alright, we get it. Everyone's here. I get it. The whole gang's here. Don't <laughs> stop, stop. Yes, we know. You've really beat us over the head with that one game, huh? <laughs> Everyone's smiling, having a good time. Everyone's laughing and cornholing but Buster. A couple of dancers. All dancers look the same. Is that racist? Classist? Everyone's laughing. We get it! <laughs> Okay, everyone's happy. Give me some dialogue. Give me a credit roll. Give me something. This episode is so long. <laughs> He's taking a little sleepy nap. <laughs> Beautiful festival, isn't it? Everyone looks so happy. I hope that you'll always stay just the way you are now, Geo. Look at how your joy has brought so much light to everyone here. I haven't said a word. I think even my mother would have smiled enough to see this if she could have come. I think my mother is getting a bit better. She even tried to come tonight. I've been trying to help her understand what she did wrong. Gently, of course. But she needed someone to scold her. But in the process, I think I've discovered what I have to do next. What it is I can do. I'm going to what are you gonna do whoa whoa
Never mind, right, Lily? You're not gonna tell me. Oh, you tease. You big tease, you. Everyone's so fired up, woo. We've got the birth of Alola's strongest ever trainer to celebrate, after all. I'm gonna keep training with Elima for a while, and then I'm gonna beat my Gramps for real at last. And then I'm coming for you, Champion Geo. <laughs> Geo. Sorry, I mean Champion. Now you can call me Geo, that's fine, that's my first name, so. I'm sure everybody here wants to see your partners too. Come on, show us those partners you were. <laughs> so many discoveries and new experiences and adventures for your island challenge. You know what'd be cool is if they showed the Pokemon that were in your party for the longest. I'm curious who takes spot number six. Because Komo'o wasn't there long enough. You're positively glowing. Oh. That's it? Uh, I did it. <laughs> Pokemoon. Pokemoon is finally done. Guys, uh, honestly, from the bottom of my being real heart leveling with you guys, thank you for watching this Let's Play. Um, oh, no. There's more. <laughs> There's more, and so Geo's Island Challenge came to an end. The festival to celebrate the birth of Alola's first champion lasted until late into the night. It was so much fun. I'm so glad I got to meet you all. Who? who who's talking? These times in Alola will always be my most precious memories. Is this Rotom talking to me right now? The next day... Ugh. No credit roll yet, huh? <laughs> oh my goodness, alright. They are really, they're really giving it to me now. I wonder what will happen today. Someone's at the door. Every time, every time we wake up in the morning, go outside to stretch, and do anything at all. Move gently. And Kakui's... No, it's how. He's just gonna let himself in. Geo! It's a disaster. I just beat the Elite Four. Now we have a total disaster on our hands? Come on. What's wrong, How? Oh, Auntie. Evening. Sorry. I'll explain this later, but, but Geo has to come with me right now. If we don't hurry up, the ship's gonna leave. A ship, you say? Perhaps to a post-game island of some sorts? Or maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. I, I can fly. If it's somewhere that's not a post-game island. Seriously. Seriously, give me a credit roll. Give me control of my character. Anything. <laughs> you know, Lily, Kanto... No. Burnett's, well... She said she'd be too sad to watch you go. She wouldn't even come out with me. I know it's a lot to ask, but forgive her this time, would you? She did tell me to let you know the loft in the lab is yours to stay indefinitely, so you can come back and stay whenever you want, Lily. Whenever you like, Lily. You didn't tell us. Lily's leaving to go to Kanto? How? I'm sorry, but I've decided I have to go to Kanto to help my mother get better. But more than that, to help myself get stronger. Of course, I'm sad to leave Alola, but the thought of going to Kanto also fills my heart with excitement. She's leaving? I'm going to become a real trainer and meet all kinds of wonderful Pokemon. I'm going to travel all around Kanto, just like we did here for Alola on our island challenges. And no matter what happens on my journey, I'm going to be okay. Because of all the smiles you shared with me, you and Geo and everyone here, thank you so much. And that's why someday... Someday, I'll come back to Alola again. But, but, I haven't gotten to say any of the things I wanted to say to you, so, so, er, uh, I'm gonna send you a letter. A really, really long one. You better wait. I will, Hal. And please, take this. Three max revives. <laughs> Geo. It may look a bit worn, but that is because it was once my most trusted belong- It was my most trusted belonging once. A polka doll. Hmm.
Then I suppose this is goodbye. Hmm. That's sad. I didn't want Lily to go. It's a pretty sweet boat, though. You can tell she came from money. <laughs> is, that, is that rude to say? I don't know. Goodbye. Goodbye, Lily. Goodbye. This is such a long episode. <laughs> this is such a long episode. <laughs> How? I know what it's like when you can't help but cry, but, you know... When you're saying goodbye to someone you love, you gotta show them one last smile, yeah? Yeah, I think I wanna go see my gramps. Yeah, let's all go home. We got people waiting for us. Our families are waiting. It's nighttime already? Didn't we just wake up a minute ago and come over here? It must be winter. The days are so short. Why'd they have to go and do that? They had to steal Lily away from me in the closing moments. But there's my mom. Look at her. The old gal. She's the Bella de Ball. But we're walking back. Uh, thoughts on the game. Um, really good. Really good. They, they brought so much life to the game. The best parts about this game, I think, are how many annoyances that the prior generations had that they corrected. Uh, HMs, I think, have been just a giant ink stain on this series since their inception. They were useful back when TMs were not reusable. Because if you wanted to change your team and you'd already used a TM that you could only use once and you could only find once, that was it. So if you taught Earthquake to someone, you wouldn't have another Earthquake. So TMs were useful in that Strength was a pretty good move. Surf was a really good move. You could go around putting uh, putting pretty high-powered, very accurate water attacks on things. So very useful in those generations. Once TMs became reusable, HMs kind of, they just became an annoyance. You couldn't get rid of them a lot without going to a move deleter. You needed them for everything it got to the stage where you literally, I mean, like almost every single game, I carried around an HM slave. Towards some of the later generations, you had to even carry around two. So you had to have a water type Pokemon that would learn dive, waterfall, and surf. And then you had to have another Pokemon that learned the other four in fly, cut, strength, uh, and I think rock climb in one of the generations. It's ridiculous. So the fact that they got ride pagers was such a great addition. Um, I think I'm a little disappointed they got rid of horde battles, but it's okay. Um, they replaced it with calling for help, which is an interesting feature that turned out to be more annoying than anything else. I've heard that that's the primary way to catch shiny Pokemon, which I like. Uh, I like the change on the gym leader uh, and the gym battle element that they did Kahunas, they did Captains, Trials. I, I thought that was very fun. I really like the zones. The zones are really good. None of them were too long. Um, encounter rate wasn't too bad. There's a lot to the game. There's a lot of depth. Uh, I Time will tell whether or not I like it better than X and Y. I don't know that I like Z moves. Uh, I'm very concerned about how they'll, they'll affect the meta. And now that I've played through the game and I'm not worried about spoilers anymore... And I can start looking up things about the meta and actually use the internet again. That'll be really nice. So I'm unsure on them right now. I don't think I like them. I don't like... I don't like the consistent push in trend towards uh, offense. I think it's too much of it already. I think it's too easy to set up and win a game if, if you're not prepared for it. It basically negates a lot of strategies a lot of very interesting slow play strategies are completely wasted 
on the fact that if you give a Pokemon the opportunity to set up and they can, that the game just ends. So I think Z moves kind of ruin that a little bit. Uh, looks like there's no Megas in this game, although I'm pretty sure there are. They can't get rid of Megas. I mean, when transfers are open, they're going to happen. So I don't know. There's It's hard to say. I, I We'll really have to see. I liked the meta of X and Y when it first came out so much. I liked it so, so much. Um, I liked it a little bit more once they banned a few key elements of it. I think getting rid of Aegislash made the meta... The meta was not the worst with Aegislash, but he was over-centralizing, and he made a lot of Pokemon uh, not used simply because of his existence. And he made... It made it that ground type moves were everywhere, so there was this big drop in electric Pokemon usage, just because we had to be able to hit him with an earthquake or something like that. So I, I don't know. I I like when Aegislash Slash left. I like the meta after that a lot. Uh, so we'll have to see what the meta is like in this game. But um, you know, I, I don't. I know you guys don't really just want to watch me blab while while you're watching the credit roll. And this has been my longest episode ever. So I just want to say, honestly, well and truly, from the bottom of my heart, thank you guys for watching uh, this Let's Play. This is my first ever Let's Play. I had a lot of fun playing the game with you guys, editing the videos and, uh, and uploading. It's been nice to to try it and, and to see how much I liked it. Uh, and I'm not sure if I'll do another one. Uh, it was great to do it with Pokemon. It's something I love. It's something I share on this channel. And uh, I don't know if I'm gonna I don't know if I'm gonna do it again for any other games. Maybe another Pokemon game in the future. We'll see. But um, I just I really I enjoyed this experience, and and you guys are the ones who gave that to me. Uh, there's a lot of encouragement in the comment section. I didn't get a lot of views comparatively when you look at some of my um, my GBA battles, and then you look at my Let's Plays. The views are big disparity uh, in the realm of like 30 times as many views on the other ones but some people like this I hope if you're watching me now some of those people are you so thank you guys for watching uh, I'm gonna let these credits roll out a little bit longer um, actually you know what? <laughs> no I'm not um, no I'm not but seriously once again gotta say it thank you uh, and leave me in the comment section down below some of your thoughts on on how you think my playthrough went. Anything you would have liked to have seen? Help me improve. Maybe I'll do another one next time. It'll be even better. But as always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you guys next time.